is Thailand or Bali better? I'm surprised there's not more videos on this, so I thought I'd do a comprehensive guide and break it down with nothing but the facts to help you decide which one you should visit. What up Trekkers, Cal from Alleyways here and in today's video we're answering the question is Bali or Thailand better? I've broken this into four categories. Let the battle begin. The first and possibly most important category is cost. For food and drinks and accommodation, I have taken the cheapest to most expensive and averaged them out to give you a daily idea on what they cost. Let's start with Thailand. For food and drinks, you're looking at an average of $35 per person per day. That's Australian dollars. For Bali, you're looking at $25 per person per day. A huge difference. Bali obviously takes the cake there. Now for accommodation, for Thailand, you're looking at an average, and we've looked from one star to five star. This is the average accommodation going for $80 per day. For Bali, you're looking at $60 per day. Another large difference. Bali obviously wins the cost category, but keep in mind that you would be halving that accommodation cost if you're not traveling alone. If you're traveling with someone else, you're looking at more like 40 and 30. Next category is food and culture. For Thailand, the food is authentic and award-winning. There are many famous restaurants and chefs in Thailand. The food is absolutely incredible and obviously you get a good bang for your buck out of every dish. For Bali, the food is also very authentic but can be pretty average. You can have some really great meals, some really terrible ones, but most of them are pretty average. Now, the westernized food in both places, for Thailand, any western foods are very, very expensive. Even the classic cheap things we have at home like McDonald's can go for even more. The westernized food in Bali is much more reasonable. As for culture, Thailand's culture I have called rich and religious. Although tourism is at the forefront of Thailand, their culture is never sacrificed for it and it provides a much more authentic travel experience when visiting the temples or political or historical areas. In Bali, I have labeled their culture unique and spiritual. They have many Western themes for tourism throughout Bali that do detract from the cultural experience. So I have given the food and culture category to Thailand. The next category is safety. Extremely important one, of course. Let's start out with Thailand. In Thailand, tourist scams are a little bit more predominant. There is scams in both countries, but in Thailand, when you combine it with a corrupt police force and a national pride that can be a detriment to visitors, Thailand can be a little unsafer in that regard. But a hot tip, they do have tourist police in all major cities that are always happy to help. In Bali for safety, obviously both places have wonderful honest people, but Bali seems to be far more focused on the happiness and well-being of their tourists. Obviously their tourism economy is, is huge, it's one of the larger parts of the economy of the island. Same with Thailand, but Balinese people really seem to focus on the well-being of their tourists. Now for travel and attractions, we're going to cover both at the same time because a lot of time and money has gone into both of their tourism trades. They have famous locations and huge attractions. But I'm going to give this one to Thailand and I'm going to explain why. They have much more diversity, mainly due to the size of the country from the Himalayas all the way down to the paradise beaches of Phuket. And also there's easy access that Thailand provides to other countries that surround its borders. So it's prime for any traveler or adventurer. Now in saying that, the comfort and westernized sort of theme of Bali's tourism can provide a much more relaxing, enjoyable experience. So all in all, if you're looking for a vacation, I'd probably hit up Bali. If you're looking for an adventure, I'd hit up Thailand. Now, I spent a lot more time in Thailand than I did in Bali. We're talking a couple of months in Thailand compared to 10 days in Bali. So I might have a little bias there. Also, I prefer a more adventurous style of travel, a lot more experiences, something to vlog for you guys. So I personally would choose Thailand, but I feel like I've broken those categories down enough 
that you may be able to decide which one suits your type of travel or what you'd prefer to visit if you've never been there. If you have been there, leave a comment down below. Tell me which one you'd prefer to visit or which one you have enjoyed more. Also, if you liked this video or any of our other videos, please consider subscribing. It goes a long way to keeping the channel alive and I love sharing this stuff with you guys. And yes, this is new merch. I'm glad you noticed. There's only ever been like 10 of these printed in history, which makes them very unique and, and rare or really low in demand. So if you want to pick that up, there's a link in the description below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, leave that comment, and we will catch you in the next place.